there, I'm Robert, and welcome to Hobby King's Mod Tech Monday, and I'm with my colleague James. Hello, James. Good to have you back in the studio. Hello, man. Uh, nice things. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. So James is here today to talk about a, uh, an electric skateboard that he's got going on, which is something that we've been a part of and, and we've developed items for for some time, and we finally got one going. And um, So tell us about it. What do, you, what do you got going here? So we had this kit that came with the trucks, the wheels, the gears for the motor and the wheel uh, came with the belt. Um, right, I remember that. Now we don't have that anymore, unfortunately, right? Right. Yeah, bummer. Oh well. But we do have the motors. We do have the skate motors. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and we do expect to have the matching ESCs. The SK8 ESCs are, I believe, coming soon. We'll, we'll update you later on that. But uh, yeah, that should be happening too. Now the the ESC. Uh, is rated for 80 amps up to 12s. Okay. Um, I'm only running on 6s and have it limited to 50 amp. So, okay. so just 6s and 50 amps. Yeah, it does about uh, 18, 20 miles an hour. Cool. Um, okay. With the battery I'm using, it's a, it's a fairly large battery. It's 16,000 milliamp. Let me take a look at that real quick. <laughs> Provides Sorry. about 20 miles range. 20 miles? Wow, all right, that's awesome. With just this one battery, but it, it's a fairly large battery. Well, yeah, that's a, that's a brick. You could build a house with that thing. <laughs> so, all right, so a Turnagy 6S pack. Um, and then, so the motor you're using is the... It's an SK3-6374-192 kV motor. Okay. Um, with the low voltage 6S battery, it barely gets even warm. Okay. All right. Um, so you're not taxing the motor. No, no okay. problem at all. I picked up a. I used to use the GT2 controller. Mm -hmm. I picked up the one of these for 35 bucks off the internet. Okay. Um, cool. Just a little hand trial and brake. Yeah. Trial and brake. Right. You don't need steering. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I do carry around an extra belt. Smart. Because. It's exposed, so every once in a while a, a pebble will get in the gear and you gotta pick it out. Okay. And I did have one pop on me once. Okay. And I didn't have the belt with me. Alright. Spares. But spares is always a smart thing. You know, you don't have enough room here, you could put a little tool kit with tools and belts and all kinds yeah. of stuff. Right all you there. really need <laughs> is an Allen key and uh, maybe a wrench. I okay. got the somebody gave me one of these. It's got a bunch of different tools on it. Yeah, those things are cool. <laughs> Keep my Leatherman on me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, it's one of my favorite toys right now. Awesome, awesome. And what do you got on the front here? You got a camera? GoPro okay. Session 4. Cool, okay. Uh, it's really close to the ground, so the perspective is really cool. Okay, neat, neat. Um, all right, and so how fast are you going with this thing? Uh, you could Approximately. you could set it up to do about 35 with the 50 volt pack. That so 12 s. Okay, it'll get it'll up move. and go. You definitely want to wear a helmet. You definitely want to wear pads if you if you're using that much voltage. Gotcha. Uh, so you're running it on just 6 s, but it can go up to 12. So 8, 10 s is all are all possibilities. Yeah. So I, I'm 190 pounds, six foot. It has no problem at uh, 25 volts so okay awesome it's interesting because I've used the same exact motor in two of my big airplanes so uh, that shows the versatility of the SK3 motors obviously you know it, it spins it makes things go <laughs> now we do have the equivalent motor on the website uh, the skate motor 6374 192 kV and it is twice the power yeah, yeah. So we'll put links up to the, all these products uh, at the end of the video. But yeah, so this is what twenty seven hundred something watts. Twenty seven fifty, but that's with twelve uh, s. Twelve s, right? Okay. So uh, so on six s, let's say you're running fourteen hundred, give or take, you know, full power. And now the SK eight motor is how many how many watts of power is that? That's forty four hundred. Wow. So forty four hundred, and that's on ten or twelve? Uh, I believe it's twelve on 12S, so two of these packs in series would give you that power. Uh, that thing must be a rocket then. Yeah. Put wings on it, you'd take off. <laughs> <laughs> that would be excellent for off-road. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. You'd need different wheels and tires for that. That's that's next. That's next, okay. <laughs> He's already got a plan. So that'll be another video. All right, awesome. Uh, so yeah, talk about wheels. What do you got here? Well, I use this thing so much. This was the old drive wheel. This is the uh, one of the equivalent wheels, and it just wore down so much. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Time to get new ones, so yeah. I went with the orangutan 80 millimeter, 83A wheels, okay. and it loves it. Awesome. The reds bearings. Okay. It's fantastic. Again, a lot we'll, of fun. We'll put links up to all the stuff on here. And uh, and so these are the trucks and all the stuff that we originally had sold, right? Yeah. So um, I added the, the spacers. Okay. Um, I'd like to make some kind of case so it's not exposed, but I really haven't had an issue with that unless I'm going up a, a curb or something onto a sidewalk. Okay. But I, I really don't do that. But I'd like, we, we do have carbon fiber sheets. Yeah. That I'd like to try to make That a, would be a, a good idea. Nice I mean, you you got an exposed soft pack. If something tore, op tore that open, it could be, uh, could be an issue. <laughs> yeah. You'd, you'd want to avoid that. But um, but as it is, you're already avoiding stuff as you go anyway, so mm -hmm. it's really not a problem. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, I guess uh, there's only one left thing to do, and that's get this thing on the road and uh, get some footage of you cruising on it. And um, anything, anything else to add? Uh, I think that's about it. We covered just about everything, right? I can't wait for those new dual ESCs to come. Two motors. Two motors, okay. Oh, well, actually, you know what? So would you put one in front and then one in the back since you couldn't put them next to each other, I guess, right? Yeah, they're big motors, so I was thinking either one up front, one in the back. Okay. Or like you just said, one in front and one in the back here. We'll have to try it both ways, yeah. see which one works better. Four-wheel drive or, uh, well, I guess it's always just two-wheel, but uh, yeah, you can figure out if it works better with the drives all the way back there or split or, you know, whatever. Endless possibilities. Yeah, yeah. And with if you got you know the the, uh, the skate motors and ESCs and all that power, it would be uh, with and you know some off road wheels, you could probably go right up a mountain. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Which could be awesome. No problem. Very very cool. Well, thanks for bringing it in. Thanks for showing it off. And uh, oh, what so what board is this in particular? I mean, is there is there a particular brand or is it? Uh, I, I don't know. I took it from a friend of mine, Mike Desposito. You remember him from my yeah, school? Yeah, I remember Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Sadly, we just uh, we just lost Mike. So he donated the board. Okay. And he okay. wouldn't ride it when I tried to get him to ride it like this. He wouldn't ride it. Yeah. Oh, really? Really? Okay. <laughs> All right. But he loved it. Well, well, it was fantastic. We dedicate the board to Mike then. Mike D. Cool. Very Thanks cool. You, Mike. Yeah, man. So uh, let's get it on the road. Let's see what we can do with it. All right. Cool, man. All right. See you soon.